When a fan manufacturer ships you a fan, ideally, they hope that you install the fan and get it running within a few days of receiving it. However, commonly, you receive the fan as part of a bunch of other equipment, you put it all together, and actually install installing at the job site can take several months. So if you must store your fan, please follow the following procedures. First step, make sure you cover your fan. You protect it from the elements so that it doesn't start rusting. Avoid black plastic if at all possible. Isolate your fan in a protected area. Make sure, and this is an important one, rotate your wheel once a week. If you have a belt driven fan like the one that we're looking at right here, reduce the tension in the belt drive. It's set up, it's ready to go, but if you're not ready to make it go, reduce the tension in your belts. One of the biggest reasons that we touch on rotating the wheel, reduce the belt tension, is bearings. If you leave it in a tense, if you leave the belts tense, if you don't rotate your wheel, your bearings will have a pull on them in one direction. Your motor bearing will be pulled in that direction. Your fan bearings will be pulled in that direction because the wheel is hanging and it's pulling them down. You can develop a flat spot on your bearings and it can ruin your whole experience at startup. Make sure you isolate your fan from any vibrations that may be existing within the area. And then the final step, before you're ready to finally start your fan up, make sure you purge the grease in your bearings and put in new grease.